Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so Alexa earns $33,000 in her first year of teaching and earns a 4% increase in each successive year. Write a geometric series formula S sub n for Alexa's total earnings over n years and then use this formula to find total earnings in the first 15 years of teaching to the nearest cent. Okay, so what is happening here? Well, first of all, Alexa is being un underpaid, as many teachers are. Sorry, Alexa. Uh, but the idea is that we start off with $33,000. Okay. And then we multiply by 1.04 to get the next step in our sequence. It's 33,000 times 1.04 to the first. And then the next year would be 33,000 times 1.04 twice because it's been compounded twice and so on and so forth and then in general it's going to be 33,000 times 1.04 to the n minus 1 times because here this is our first term a sub 1 and it's really times 1.04 to the 0 or just 1 we don't write that here a to the second is not not 1.04 to the second but to the first it's always one less than that number there this is a to sub 3, so it's 33,000 times 1.04 to the second. And then here, in general, a sub n will equal this. But they don't want a sub n, they want s sub n. They want the sum of all these terms up to some uh, number here. Now, there's a beautiful proof of this, but the idea is that you can quickly find the partial sum of a geometric formula or series uh, with something like this, a minus a times r to the n over 1 minus r. You might see something similar to that. You might also have seen this one, a times um, 1 minus r to the n over uh, 1 minus r, something like that. It's just factoring the a out of the numerator. I like this one right here. But the idea is that in this case, then, what are we writing in? Well, this a is really a sub 1, right, or 33,000. So you might see a sub 1 there, 1, 1, and minus 33,000 times r to the n. Well, that's going to be 1.04. That's our, our r value. That's the, number, the rate you're multiplying by to the n power over 1 minus 1.04. I think they would have accepted this, but I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm going to say that's 33,000 minus 33,000 times 1.04 to the n over 1 minus 1.04 is just negative 0.04. But I think this one will be fine. Uh, so this is our general formula. And now we want to find out what happens in the first 15 years of teaching. So let's just go through the mechanics of that. That means n is 15. So on the calculator, we just got 33,000 minus 33,000 times 1.04 to the 15th over um, I'm going to leave this here, 1 minus 1.04. So on the calculator, let's take a look at that. Uh, on the calculator, uh, we'll get at this, right? It's just about the numbers now. 33,000 minus 33,000 times 1.04 to the 15th. I'm going to hit Enter. And then divide that by parentheses 1 minus, make sure you have those parentheses if you're entering the whole subtraction there. You don't want to mess with the order of operations. 1.04. You want to divide by the whole difference, not just 1, and then subtract 1.04. And that gives me 60, 660,778 to the nearest cent is. 0.39, so I'm going to write that down. So that means our answer would be $660,778.39. So even though I'm sure she could be paid more, that does add up quickly, you see. All right, hope that helps.